Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2022 horror thriller, The Twin. A film that is co-written and directed by uh, Tanile Mustonen. And it stars Teresa Palmer, Stephen Cree and Tristan Ruggeret. Now, this film focuses on Teresa Palmer's character, Rachel, and her husband, Anthony, played by Stephen Cree. They suffer a tragedy. They lose a child, uh, a twin, in fact. Um, and they obviously are struggling to come to terms with that. So they decide to pack up, take their son with them, Elliot, abroad, and I, th I think it's Germany they head, um, to start a fresh life so that Anthony can... Um, do his writing all this kind of stuff and rachel can move on and hopefully they can start a new life together however almost as soon as they get there um strange things start happening elliot their son starts displaying disturbing behaviors in the sense of um claiming that he is their dead son nathan and um a local woman an english woman warns them in regards to um, the community that they have uh, moved into and the dangers that they face. Right, what are my thoughts on The Twin? Well, this film, in actual fact, on the surface, um, appears to be quite a generic tick box exercise horror film. And that's exactly what I thought it was for the majority of its runtime. Um, and then, when a, the, when a reveal or the reveal takes place as to what is going on, for me, it elevated it um, to a little bit more than the generic. I, I really, I could see why audience members will watch this and feel duped at the end. Um, I could completely understand it why they'd be turning that off, think, well, that was rubbish. I, they didn't really give me what I wanted but I like that in a film I, I like it and I say this a lot in films when they do it I like it when a film presents one thing but in actual fact um, what it's presenting isn't what's actually happening it's something else entirely um, <clears throat> excuse me and that thing is this film's strength not its weaknesses but I, I can understand how someone watching this thinking they were getting a traditional I don't know um, haunted film or devil worshipping type film or pagan cult type film um, and expected to get that payoff and they get something different would it probably would annoy some audience members I actually really liked it because um, I, I wasn't expecting it to kind of take and it was quite a brave decision as well it turned the film completely on its head for me um, and made the film much more about a subject that affects a lot of people um, and I really really liked how it did that this film um, I thought the performances were excellent certainly from Teresa Palmer you really felt her pain uh, her obsession over her remaining son Elliot you know where he was at all times terrified that she was going to lose him all this overprotectiveness and then being drawn into um, these primal fears that are being fed to her by one of the locals in regards to the community she's moved into uh, and the dangers that her family faces to be honest i bought into it as well um, because I, I genuinely thought uh, uh, the route the film was taking was the route the route it was going to stay on it was going to stay on that path um and i really like i liked her performance i thought it was actually quite remarkable at times um and i also thought stephen cree as the husband anthony was excellent as well uh, at some points in the film you think he's like again you think he's playing this character this way for a certain reason but in actual fact um he's doing it this way for another reason and that that it's a difficult film as you might be gathering to review and feedback on because i'm desperate really not to give away spoilers if you're interested in checking it out because i think that's the real strength of this film if you know what's going to happen in this film you will not enjoy it anywhere near as much so i'm trying very very hard not to give away any spoilers here um but yeah i think if you go into this film thinking you're getting a traditional like horror film um uh, you may be disappointed 
you may be disappointed. If you go if you go into this film with your eyes open and expecting, if you like, to be treated a little bit like a mature audience member, then you 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 may enjoy this a little bit more. I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't think this film is perfect at all. I think there are pacing issues. Um, it's not because it's presenting itself as like um, a horror in many ways. It's not scary. I didn't feel it. I, I don't remember any kind of jump or any kind of fear while watching the film. So it, it fails in that sense in regards to being a horror film. But usually horror films that structure themselves like this, you get the payoff and the scares at the end. Um, and this film gives you something else at the end. Um, not what you expect it to give you. So that that's possibly why I think it fails as a horror film, but it succeeds as a thriller. Um, so, yeah, I was suitably surprised and impressed with this film. But like I say, I, I don't think it's for everybody. It's something a little bit different it's um uh it presents one thing and gives another but I, I certainly appreciated it but like i say there are some issues with it and some faults with it It feels a bit insular and all this kind of stuff so i'm going to give it a six out of ten i do think it's worth uh your time it's worth maybe checking it out if you like to watch something that you know doesn't really you know go down the generic ordinary path uh for me i have certainly appreciated it so Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review. And of course, I will be back with loads more content on the channel very, very soon.